Hey everybody, it's going to be a quick video. This is going to be the arm SID. The reason for this video is I repaired this machine. PLA didn't work, so it's got a plankton. SID didn't work, so it's got an arm SID. I haven't seen any test videos of arm SIDs. I've seen gadgets videos of the uh, FPGA SID and the Nano SID and the Nano SID Ultimate but not the arm SID. So I thought it'd be interesting we'll just run some tests on the arm SID. This is the arm SID here. Nothing much to look at. It's just an arm processor with a few bits and bobs on it. It's just a drop-in replacement. This test is going to be very quick. It's going to be me capturing the audio directly from the audio out of the C64 into Audacity. And I'm only going to use one bar of music, like literally a tiny little section. Play it on this and then play it on a real 6581. Reason for that, I don't want to get in trouble. This is just for scientific, you know, just for research, just to see what the difference sounds like. So I think it's going to be five or six different one bar set samples, one after the other, back to back. So sit back, relax, and see whether you enjoy the audio. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know about you, but I'm pretty impressed with that. I think that did a very good job of emulating a proper SID chip. Certain points you might be able to tell, okay, yeah, it's not doing, it's not quite as grunty or it's not quite as this or that. But overall, for 27 quid, I don't think you can go wrong with that. I'm going to be getting another one of those chips. There is software that the guy's done as well, which you can load onto your SD to AEC, and it gives you a limited amount of play on the filters. You can change the filter type, and I think you can change the lowest filter you can save the settings to ram which finish when you turn it off or you can save them permanently to the flash memory of the chip so i hope you found that interesting thanks for watching take care and i'll see you all later cheers bye